welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and today I have a really fun video for you today. It is a pin haul video. Now I will say we have a ton of pins to go through in this video. A lot of them happen to be pins that were fantasy pins that I pre-ordered. Some of them were from pin live sales. And for those of you that don't know what a fantasy pin is, it's a pin that's not Disney licensed and it's produced by an independent artist. And so a lot of those fantasy pin sellers are kind of like underground artists, right? So they don't want Disney to know that they're doing this. That's why they're kind of hard to find. Someone asked me, why is it so hard to find uh, fantasy pin sellers? And so I was trying to explain, well, it's kind of complicated because they really look like Disney characters, but they don't have Disney licensing. So anyway, that's a long story, but I'm gonna be sharing with you a bunch of pins that I got in over the last, I think it's like a month and a half, I wanna say. And I was keeping them in my magic mailbox, but I just decided to do a complete Disney pin haul. Why not? is something that I'm gonna open. It's from Pins by JP. Now everything that I can find is gonna be listed in the description box down below. So you can have access to, to whoever I'm ordering from. Now, if you're new to my channel, this pin might shock you a little bit, but if you are not new, you're gonna laugh because um, this, is, this pin is literally the best. <laughs> <laughs> and you probably know it if you know me at all. It is a King Triton pin. Now, here on the channel, we call King Triton Daddy. And you're gonna see why right now. <laughs> hey there, fella. So this is King Triton, super ripped, looking great. Um, love his eight pack. I could not pass up this pin. It was so funny to me. The thing I like about it is it does have like his trident and also some sea stars kind of behind him. But who's really looking at the background of this pin? Like, let's be completely honest. Cannot wait to add this to <laughs> my King Triton board. Hashtag daddy though, am I right? So this is actually the Gentleman Collection and they have just about every Disney man in this like kind of a naughty form. So if you're looking for some awesome ab, ab centric pins, definitely go and check out pins by JP. <laughs> now next I have a pin that is from a live sale. Now, my favorite Disney pin live sale is called the Blue Crew, and I will link their information down below. And if uh, you go and check them out, just let them know that Miss Cherry sent you. I'm always on their lives. They have great prices, and I love the pins that they put out. I've really grown my collection lately, and um, this is a lounge fly pin that I actually missed out on. I think it was, Maybe it's from last year, but anywho, this is the pin. And I just think Ariel looks so different and so unique in this pin. I had to have it and it's a very, very glittery pin. I just think her face looks so beautiful in this pin and I'm a huge Little Mermaid collector and I didn't have it so I ended up buying it from the Disney pin live sale. And for those of you that don't know what a live sale is, it's really like a live auction kind of, except you're not you're not bidding. Um, they just tell you what the price is and then you let them know if it's sold or not. This pin is from Nippy Pins and this is an LE of 65. And look how stunning this is. This is Vanessa with Flotsam and Jetsam. And then behind them, so it's a pin on pin. And then behind the eels and Vanessa is this really beautiful like neon green background. I think her face in this pin looks so evil and so good. Like her eyebrows are on point. <laughs> I can't wait to add this to my Vanessa portion of my pin board. My Vanessa portion is really expanding. And if you would like to see my Vanessa and Ursula pin board, I just posted a video recently about that. I'll link it up above and down below just in case you want to check it out. I have a pretty extensive Ursula and Vanessa specifically fantasy pin collection if you're interested in, in checking it out. It was kind of a long video. <laughs> This next pin seller is Creations by M, and I 
purchased these because I am already starting to work on my Christmas board. And I saw that she had some new Christmas pins that I thought were really cool. So I ended up purchasing these. These are available on Etsy. And these are those little bubbles that like have like notifications. And it's got a Mickey Mouse gingerbread and a Mickey Mouse snowman. And I thought these were so shiny and so pretty. So I'm gonna be adding these to my Christmas pin board. And then here is a really beautiful pin. And I just thought the coloring on this is so pretty. Like this looks like Alaska in the winter time. Like these are the colors of Alaska. It's always so dark here and so cold. But you've got a Mickey Mouse snowman and Cinderella castle and the moon rising behind it. I just think this is so pretty. And I had to add that to my Christmas pin collection. And then we kind of have a little bit of a more traditional coloring of Christmas pin or holiday pin. It's surrounded by peppermints and little snowflakes and the castle is made of gingerbread. I am so sad that they're not doing the gingerbread houses at Disney World this year. I understand why not. Um, but it is just a little bit disappointing. So this next item is from um, all the way from Spain. This pin yeah. is by Miss Miko Pins and I will link her information down below. This pin is humongous. This is my hand next to it so it's like as big as my palm and it's got Ariel kind of running out of the sea in her wedding outfit and oh my gosh i don't know if you can see the shimmer and shine in this pin her wedding dress is caked in glitter she's got such a beautiful facial expression i personally am a big fan of like the 80s wedding dress that she's wearing i it's it's made after um, princess diana's dress and you'll have to let me know down below how you feel about this dress i think it is so fun and i'm okay with it being dated it was such an interesting decision for them to go with something that it was so so stylized but i do love it and and i am so excited to add this to my wedding portion of my pin board so i actually have a wedding area of all Little Mermaid wedding pins. So if you want to see any of my other Disney pin collections, um, let me know down below. I'm happy to share them with you if you'd like. The only one I've shared so far has been my Ursula pin board. This next pin is another wedding pin and this was from Beautiful Pintastrophe. So here is the pin and it is Eric and Ariel kissing on their wedding day and oh my gosh the blue caked glitter in the background is so pretty. This is going to go perfectly on my wedding board. I actually don't have any of the them kissing in their wedding so I'm so excited to add that to it. I think I just think it's gonna look so beautiful on that portion of their pin board. It says fairy tales are real company, so it makes me wonder if I purchased them from a pin seller and then the actual maker of the pin is fairy tales are real. I will put the information down below. God, that pin is beautiful. The other thing that's so unique about this pin is it's like a dark gunmetal gray, which is kind of a rare color for a pin back. This next pin is from my friend Christina over at Playdates and Travels. Christina lives in Southern California and she was able to go and pick up this pin for me, which I'm so appreciative of. So if you um, don't know Christina, she's got an awesome Disney YouTube channel as well. And she is just such a sweet and kind person. And I'm so thankful that she was able to get this for me because it was one of those releases that was kind of rare. And it says um, on this little note, hey Jesse, glad I could pick this pin up for you firsthand. Enjoy it. Also, I had these cards lying around that I thought you might enjoy. Love, Christina. Oh, Christina, thank you. And um, okay, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So she sent me some um, Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards. She sent the Heffalumps card as well as the Mr. Toad card. Those are super cool. I'm gonna add these to my pin board actually. She picked up the limited edition Mr. Toad Disneyland 65th anniversary pin that I was not able to get my hands on. And so it has Mr. Toad's Wild Ride and it says Disneyland's 65th anniversary. And this is a pin that actually has a movement attached to it. So the ride vehicle moves back and forth. And 
I just think this is so cute. I have a small collection of Mr. Toad. He's a pretty rare character to collect via pin trading. There's not a lot of Mr. Toad pins, but they're starting to become more and more popular. So I was excited that for the 65th Disneyland anniversary, they decided to release a Mr. Toad pin. And again, thank you so much, Christina, for picking these up. It means so much that you were able to do that. I really, when you live away from the parks and there's parks exclusives, it's really tough to get your hands on them without spending an absolute arm and a leg trying to get them on the aftermarket. This next, uh, these next pins are from a Disney pin live sale from the Blue Crew. And I purchased, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> my friend Jen, um, I, I'll link her down below. Jen's New Adventures, she zapped me a pin and zapping a pin means she paid for the pin and then had them put it into my envelope to be shipped to me, which was super sweet. She sent me this really super adorable little baby bing bong. Isn't he so cute? He's so tiny. He's like the size of a quarter. Oh, he's adorable. I have a tiny itty bitty bing bong collection because I just, bing bong is everything. And then this next pin is a kind of a rare, um, it's a fantasy pin and it's called Come Into My World. I lost it when I saw this pin, mainly because I don't get to see Ariel in her blue sparkly dress, her lavender sparkly dress or whatever we want to call the color of the dress. It's kind of controversial. Um, let me know what color it is, silver, purple blue. It's kind of depicted in all different colors. But anyway, here she is walking out of the water to greet Prince Eric. And I love the gold framing on this pin and also that caked on glitter. Yes. I do not know who the fantasy pin seller is. If you happen to know, if you could please leave that information down below. I just know who I bought it from and they are not the pin designers on this one. So, so pretty though. And this is a limited edition of 50. The next pin order that I placed was through Yo-Yo Pins or Yo-Yo's Alley. I've talked about her on my channel before in my last pin haul. And uh, today I am showing you two items that I got from her. Oh my gosh. This is so flipping adorable. Yo-Yo's pins are like the top notch of fantasy pin design in my opinion. Check out this Ariel and Flounder. Is that the cutest flipping pin you've ever seen? She is squeezing Flounder like no one's business and she's got like this little grin on her face and her little flower in her hair has a little bit of a glitter element. It's beautiful and adorable and it's gonna go perfect on my pin board. I love it so much. She was doing like a last minute um, clearance sale randomly and my friend Jen over at Jen's New Adventures, she uh, sent over that they were doing this clearance sale and I was able to get a couple of things which I felt was like so, so lucky. The next thing I ended up getting was this, um, I, I call it a locket, it's not a locket. It's basically made to be like a necklace or some sort of dangle. I'm gonna place it on my pin board because it is, I've never seen this. And it's so beautiful. It's Vanessa in her wedding dress with Ariel's voice. And can we talk about the detail in this? I, I wanna call it a pin. It's not a pin, but basically it is. And it's got Ursula's tentacles behind her. And I love that she's got like purple details on her dress. This is so stunning. I think I paid like $15 for this, which fantasy pins are generally somewhat pricey. And so to get this at such a low cost, I was like floored. And this is called Pop Fashion. And I'm definitely gonna be hanging this on my Vanessa portion of my pin board. It's so pretty. And she also included some stickers, which was super kind of her. And these are her pin designs, but in sticker form. So she sent over a Madame Leota. How stunning is Madame Leota? And Ariel um, in a traditional Mickey Mouse Club outfit. I do have the pin to this. I love it. And then also a Sailor Moon designer. Maybe, I'm sorry, I think that's Sailor Moon. I don't watch the show, so if it's not, please correct me down below, I'm sorry. I don't know a lot about this show. 
Again, I'm gonna link all of those fantasy pin designers as well as the Blue Crew, which is my favorite live Disney pin sale, down below for you guys to go and check out if you're interested. Thank you so much for being here. You'll have to tell me what pin you liked or what pin you have recently added to your collection that you love. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much again for being here. I am gonna be heading to Walt Disney World very, very soon, so if you are interested in seeing all of our fun shenanigans please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Miss Jessie Cherry and also hit that subscribe button down below if you would like to see those vlogs and lots and lots of Disney content coming. I had so much fun hanging out with you. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video. TTFN, bye!